The Fury of Fire, A Legend of Volcanoes In the days when the world was young and the elements held sway over the lands, there existed a realm known as Embera, a land forged by the hands of the gods themselves. At the heart of Embera stood the mightiest of all the gods' creations, towering peaks wreathed in smoke and fire, the volcanoes. Legends spoke of a time when the volcanoes were but dormant giants, their fiery hearts slumbering beneath their rocky exteriors. Yet, as with all things in the world, balance was delicate, and the harmony of Embera was soon to be disturbed. It began with the whispers of envy that echoed through the celestial halls of the gods. Among them was Vulcan, the god of fire and forge, whose heart burned with jealousy at the sight of his brethren's creations. Long had he toiled in the fiery depths, crafting weapons and wonders for his kin, but his labors went uncelebrated, his domain deemed too dangerous for mortals to tread. Consumed by bitterness, Vulcan devised a plan to claim the glory he believed was rightfully his. With cunning and guile, he descended upon the volcanoes of Embera, infusing them with his fiery essence and awakening their dormant fury. As the earth trembled and the skies darkened with ash, the people of Embera looked on in terror as their once serene homeland became a battleground of fire and smoke. Rivers of molten rock surged forth, devouring everything in their path, while clouds of suffocating gas choked the air. In their desperation, the people turned to the other gods for aid, but their pleas fell on deaf ears. Enraged by Vulcan's audacity, the gods refused to intervene, leaving the mortals to face the wrath of the volcanoes alone. But amidst the chaos and destruction, there arose a beacon of hope in the form of a young maiden named Arya. Arya was a vision of grace and resilience, her presence commanding attention even amidst the chaos of the volcanic wasteland. With hair the color of midnight and eyes that sparkled like the stars, she possessed an otherworldly beauty that belied the strength within. Though her stature was petite, there was an undeniable aura of determination that surrounded her, a quiet confidence born of her unwavering resolve. Clad in garments woven from the finest silks and adorned with symbols of the Earth's bounty, Arya moved with the grace of a dancer, her every step a testament to her connection to the land. But it was not just her physical attributes that set Arya apart, it was the fire that burned within her, a flame of courage and compassion that refused to be extinguished. In the face of danger, she stood resolute, her spirit unyielding in the face of adversity. Yet, for all her strength, Arya was not without her vulnerabilities. Beneath her steely exterior lay a heart that beat with empathy for the suffering of others, a soul burdened by the weight of the world's injustices. It was this compassion that drove her to take up arms against Vulcan and his fiery wrath, for she could not stand idly by while innocent lives were lost. Armed only with her determination and guided by the whispers of the earth itself, Arya ventured into the heart of the volcanic wasteland, braving searing heat and treacherous terrain. Along the way, she encountered allies in the most unlikely of places, spirits of the earth and creatures of fire who had long been forgotten by mortals. With their aid, Arya reached the summit of the tallest volcano, where Vulcan awaited, wreathed in flames and fury. Undaunted, she confronted the god, pleading for him to end the suffering he had unleashed upon Embera. But Vulcan's heart was consumed by rage, and he scoffed at her words, declaring that mortals were but playthings for the gods to toy with as they pleased. In a final act of defiance, Arya challenged Vulcan to a duel, knowing that she stood no chance against his godly might. Yet, as the two clashed amidst the fire and smoke, something miraculous occurred. With each blow exchanged, Arya's spirit grew stronger, fueled by the courage and hope of the people she fought to protect. And as Vulcan's flames began to falter, Arya delivered a decisive blow, casting the god down into the depths of the volcano. With Vulcan's defeat, the volcanoes of Embera fell silent once more, their fiery rage quelled by the bravery of a single mortal. And as the people emerged from the ashes of destruction, they looked upon Arya with reverence, for she had become more than a hero. She had become a legend, a symbol of hope in the face of adversity. And so, the legend of Arya and the volcanoes lived on, 
a reminder of the power of courage and compassion to overcome even the greatest of challenges. And though the fires may rage and the earth may tremble, the people of Embera knew that as long as they stood together, they would always endure. Thanks for listening, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more.